Hello, hello, my family. How's it going? Welcome. Big Mac. Um, one day, maybe I'll do an omelet tutorial. Uh, you shouldn't really be flipping omelets, to be honest with you. I mean, a lot of people do, including me. It's kind of cheating, but an omelet should actually be made without flipping at all. Anyway, I'm up a little late today, but I've got a couple of hours. I was going to be playing anyway, so I thought, why not go live? Why not do it? So here we are. Got my coffee. And now I'm just trying to change the time on this map. I think my bed is broken. Come on. Oh, okay, gonna be right, right at it. Go nice and early and just hunt through the day. I am not looking for anything in particular, I don't think. I do expect I'll end up hunting gators because we've got two more sleeps and I still want to perfect the, uh, the approach. Uh, let's go north and follow this river and see what happens man this is a beautiful map 
spent a chunk of the morning reorganizing all my trophy lodges. Got a lot of empty ones now. But I just went ahead and made five of each. And started moving stuff around. And I'm just going to try to keep organized. I saw you're having Catherine luck. You're getting all the stuff. I had some Catherine luck last night. Uh, I had to... So I had to... I guess kind of sort of restore my game files and well, I wrote all about it in discord in any case I got a replacement piebald alligator last night it's a little bit bigger it's a silver male piebald it's a different skin but I still like it I think I kind of prefer the skin from the one I got first but uh, what are you gonna do I have tested run. Oh, this here's some feeding grounds. I have tested the fast travel on Yukon and on SRP and it's working just fine. I've yet to find any game breaking bugs or glitches. I'm really looking forward to Tuesday. Yeah, who are we kidding? We're going to the water and I'm hoping for gators. I'm... Yeah. I'll shoot other things. They show up, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go shoot some gators. I'm really, really enjoying this muzzle loader. It's becoming one of my favorite weapons very quickly. You're going to run right into the open mouth of a gator. I don't think she fully appreciates the danger and peril that she's heading toward. Not that my rifle's any less dangerous. Or my shotgun. I guess, you know what? I'm going to switch up my ammo just in case I get close enough to that thing. Because I know she's there. Although I have not seen any raccoons. I do not know what gators do at six in the morning. What time is it in game? Yeah, almost seven in the morning. I know that there are some rest zones that occur at nine or 9.30, but I don't know what they do before that. I've never Went looking for him this easy. You alright, Duke? She's trapped. She's at the water's edge. We're not that close. Why is he already whining? Is there something else around here I don't know about? He doesn't usually start whining, I think, till we're in with within, I don't know, 50-ish meters, maybe 75. I don't usually hear him whine this, like, 100 meters out. Unless we're closer than I think, but I don't think we are that close. Let's just go real slow and easy, Duke. Stick with me, buddy. If there is a gator, then woohoo! Let's do this.
thought I heard something. Unless that was Duke. Maybe she's running back south? That was definitely Duke. It's like a bull in a china shop, this dog. I bought 50 ammo for the 300 a year ago and just bought the 300 yesterday. Why did you buy the ammo? If you didn't have the... the what? Or did you buy it by accident? Ah, oh, she went over that way, did she? See if we can get close to her. Close enough for a shotgun, anyway. That'd be alright. Thought it was 303. Okay. Duke, sometimes I wish you were a pointer. I think I hear something scurrying kind of to out front and to the right of me. She must be moving left to right. Look for some grass matting. Duke, seriously, dude. Can you just be quiet for a minute? Yeah. Well, that great fox is off the hook. I suddenly care about her way less. She went that way, I can hear her. I won't get a good look at her anyway in all of this. Alright, on to gators. Is that it? That's a rock. I think. So on the map, you see in the distance that little wooden walkway? There are bridges going across these things all over the place that aren't marked on the map. I didn't realize that till yesterday. So you can pretty freely hunt all kinds of stuff, including things you see on the opposite bank. I'm not worry too much about being able to go get it. I don't know if it's everywhere, but there are quite a few of them. Calm and traveling. I wonder if that's the one that called the mating call over here and she swam across. I don't see anything. I've not gotten a warning call. Mind you. What is that? That's gator tracks. They're heading away from me. So if she's anywhere, she's up ahead. I suspect. Man, they're hard to spot in this curly Q grass. That's not a gator track, and it's not heading away from me. What the hell do I know? I know I didn't imagine that call. There is still all the chat from before I left yesterday that's both helpful and unhelpful. The gators... Gators pictures when you spot them look like the ones from Disney movies. <laughs> what? I don't know what you mean by that.
Now, if that fox ran through here right by the gator we heard call, why didn't it get eaten? I really wish that mechanic was in the game. I should have heard that thing thrashing that fox as I approached. That would have been awesome. You mean like the insignia in the top right of the screen? You don't have to put one in Discord, just tell me what you mean. I mean, you can put one in Discord, I don't care, but... You mean that thing right there? Top right? Alright, come on, Duke. I got too far away, didn't I? Can I spot this? Or examine it, or whatever. That gator couldn't have been ashore. Because there's no sign. She must have been out... Uh...
Check one, two. Hello, hello. Check one, two. There we hello, go. Hello. Check one, two. There hello, we go. Hello. Okay. Thanks, Windows. Appreciate that. Unbelievable. Not the first time that's happened. So thankfully I know how to fix it. I just wish I didn't have to. Hi, everybody. Again. It was working at first, wasn't it, Big Mac? Oh, rabbits. Oh, there's some quail. Let's go, Duke. Probably gonna need you to uh, run some of these down. Well, why didn't you tell me sooner? God, it's so hard to hear them taking off in the rain. My God. You thought I was just quiet? No. Did it so did it not work at all? Was I I mean we were having a conversation and you were responding in a way that would imply you heard me. So I thought for sure you did. Well, isn't that ridiculous? Thanks, Windows. You're the best. I am good. I hope you're feeling all right, Echo. I hope you're feeling better. Let's see if we can get on some other quail. Or rabbits. It was working until I asked about pheasant. Oh. So you probably didn't hear my answer. Um, on Rancho, I generally hunt the south and the west and the southwest. It's not the only place to find them. That's just where I go to find them. Got to go. I'm in training my way soon as I'll be. All right, buddy. Travel safe. I got it. I didn't even look at it that carefully. I know it was a gold. I didn't even notice if it was a rare or anything. Probably should have looked at that. All right, so an abundance of quail in the morning over here. Really? Way over there? Yeah, I don't care about that. Not gonna make too big an effort to get across the water for a little tiny birdie. I think I'm way too early for... Yeah, I'm not too early for gators. That one's in the water. Let's see if it makes an appearance. Maybe we'll get to see it feeding. Here we go. Is that it? Yep, that's it. And she's coming right for us!
Duke, lay down. You're acting crazy. Is she moving or is she just floating there? Oh, she's moving really slowly. And she's gone. Not coming back? Yeah, I'm definitely going to change the time. If they're out in the water feeding, this isn't going to work out. Uh, and I'm going to go here and travel north. <clears throat> and we'll head get on some gators, but I'll probably shoot some stuff on the way. Why not? Eight fifteen. Ah, what a shame I've got to waste money like this, but just didn't want to wait it out. But no matter, because I've got my money back, I've got six figures again. Well, that's good news. All right, we're going to head, yeah, almost directly north. And we'll shoot any critters we see on the way. But we're going to head over there for some gators. Jesus. And the thunder rolls. And there are no animals being startled by my running through here. Is this just a dead forest? That something was gonna yell at me by now. But apparently not. Let's get on some critters. I think I've only been to this little uh, trio of lakes once. And I did see some gators, but they're hard to see here too. Don't know how you feel about killing three pheasants or about that shotgun. Are you using the Kuso? I actually haven't used the Kuso since it's been fixed. I probably should. But I really like my Cacciatore. It's one of my favorite... Might be my favorite shotgun. The shotgun... Okay, the Kuso. This curly Q grass, man... 
It is so hard to spot gators in this stuff. Unless you're at a distance like this. Then it's not such a problem. I'd like to try to get that guy. Just a five, but it's good practice for my first gator of the day. Unless I trip on one. Then there might be a different one that ends up my first gator of the day. Oh, the rain stopped. Thank God. That constant noise in your ear makes it really hard to hear movement or any of the ambient stuff that gives them away. There isn't much that gives them away. Where'd he go? Did he disappear in the grass? Am I not able to spot him because of the grass now? There he is. And he's swimming, so there's no point trying to shoot him. Because I won't get him. Or maybe I will. It's, oh, I think it... Hmm. What? Oh, hello. I didn't see all of you there. Look at the skinny rack on you. All right. Now where'd my gator go? I should never have looked over there. Damn it! There's nothing to write home about in that group, from what I can tell. That's max weight, but it'll never make diamonds, so who cares? That gator should be resting. He should not be swimming around like that. I know there's no sun to sun yourself, but for God's sake, man, cut me some slack. Look at all the gators. Look at them all. Look how easy they are. Oh my God. Is that assassins? How you doing? You scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> They're so easy to spot from a distance. But it's frocks. How you doing, my friend? As soon as you get close, all of this curly Q grass just obscures your view of them. You can't even spot them. That this grass is treated like a bush. Like you can't spot through it. There's another buck back there. I can't believe I can be this close to them and they don't really seem to care. Like, I'm super close. And if they're not spooked, then that gator must be gown. All right, that one's max 220. What's this one? 209. All right, I'm shooting you, buddy. Sorry, I got to shoot something for God's sake. What's it? What is it, Duke? Okay, go find that deer. You can get to growling at the shit in the water in a minute. Not a bad looking buck, no? True, true, true. I need a kick button for pheasants. I know, right? They don't... Half the time you run after them and they just look at you. They just run around you. They don't care. If the mechanic existed, you can stomp a quail from time to time in this game. You wouldn't even have to get it to take flight. You just step on it and boom, dinner. No wasted ammo. Good boy, Duke. Nice gold. It's over 200, so that's nice. Bon Jovi, that biatch. I'll take it. I am awesome. Zed Assassins, can I, can I call you... Should I just call you Assassins, or is the Zed very, very... Um, 
specific to your name? Is it because you play a lot of zombie games or something? I don't want to get it wrong. So you tell me what I should say. Does dog growl at dead gators? Uh, he, he growls at live gators. When you get within a certain distance, and I don't know what that distance is exactly, he starts with a So you know that you're near one. Often, it's one, not often, but sometimes it's one that's in the water that can't be spotted because it's down deep. Whichever, okay. Zed ass. You think so, frogs? Whichever, okay. Okay, okay. You killed a molting? Nice. Those are nice. Speaking of does he does he growl at dead gators? Um I have some levels to put into the dog that I haven't put in yet because I can't decide what to do. What do you guys think? Having him close to me, which can be a pain in the ass. Or chance of finding fresh droppings when idle. I mean he already does that once in a while. Right, but are the gators like the cats, where the dog growls at the corpse, too? I haven't seen him do that yet. I haven't seen him do that yet. And then I've... Yeah, so I don't know which one to go with. Whether I want him to stay close, or whether I want him to find droppings when he's idle. Can't decide which one would be more important to me. Given how often he gets in the way of a shot, maybe... Maybe a chance of finding droppings is the way to go. So he's not always walking like right in front of me or standing in front of me when I'm trying to hunt. He does do that. Yeah, whenever whenever uh, I've gotten a gator and he's tracked it down and found it, he just does that same thing that he just did with the uh, with the white tail. He just barks to let you know he's found it, but. Droppings gives him a little bit more usefulness if you have track effects off. That's true. That's true. If ever I'm going without track effects... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good call. I hadn't thought about that. If I'm going to be using him for playing tag, that probably makes the most sense. Unlock. And then to get to level 30, I need five more companion levels. I haven't really been petting him very much. And I don't think I need him to ward off predator attacks. Playing tag confirmed. Playing tag is confirmed. As a matter of fact, my son and I have big, big plans. He has some big plans for his channel that are going to play into the big plans I have for my channel. It's going to be a bit of a symbiosis between our two channels. So I'm really excited. It's going to be cool. It's going to be some work to get it like set up and get it going and playing tags won't be coming out on a, a weekly basis like they once did they're going to be once in a while like once every i don't know even even know once every few weeks I, like they won't be on a schedule they'll be when we can manage to put put it together and make it work for both channels but i think it's going to be super cool what we're planning but yeah it's definitely going to be happening uh Drinking zone discovered. Well, good for you guys. You should probably not drink near the gators. <coughs> I don't want to spook more gators than I have to, so I'm going to ignore those other bucks. There he goes. He's whining. Oh, he's whining because of the deer. Come on. Let's go, Duke. Forget about them. God, this is a horrible. Have you oh your my God! All right, I'm gonna try a 200 meter shot with the muzzle loader on this one, and see what we can do with this. It's just a level two female, not a biggie. And let's see if we can make it happen. Got her. 
It's easy. It's easy to get me. <laughs> I don't know why I jump scare so easy, but holy crap. I love that sound alert, though, so I don't want to get rid of it. Because it's a great song. So I want to give a hint at what the species is for the next playing tag. Uh, I don't even need to hint. I'll tell you straight up what it is. Um, season 3, Episode 1 is going to be a another Roosevelt elk black powder hunt. Uh, just like Season 1, Episode 1. I'm going to go back and do another Roosevelt hunt. Uh, episode 2 isn't determined yet. Episode 3 is definitely, de definitely determined. Episode 3 has definitely been determined, although uh, that one I'm not going to share what it's going to be just yet. Because it plays off of another episode. Is that another piebald? You guys see like the white around its eye, kind of, sort of? Or am I imagining shit now? Just wishful thinking. I can't decide. There's only one way to find out. I'm gonna have to shoot it. I think I might even chance it in the water. Got it. Ooh, I'm getting good at this. This one-shotting gators. Now let's just hope that it pops up and floats over here. Yep, it's coming. Oh, yes. Let's get a close-up look. By the way, I did replace... I don't know, if any of you read my saga in uh, Discord, I got a piebald last night off camera uh, while I was just scouting for new uh, need zones because I had to uh, restore my game files. Uh, long story. But anyway, I replaced that piebald female that I got from 12 meters the other night. But, I mean, if this one's a pie ball too, that'd be pretty sweet. Oh, no, it isn't. I don't know what I was seeing then. It's dark brown. I don't know why I thought... Okay, whatever. Middle neck. It's the magic. Yeehaw. I am getting the knack of these one-shot gator kills. See, now the gators that we saw sunning themselves have all disappeared because of this... Well, the one we just shot was probably one of them. But this, this curly grass here, you can't spot through it. They treat it like some of the dense bushes and foliage in the game, and you can't, once you get close enough, you can't really spot through it unless you've got some kind of height. You got a pull by, pull, piebald off cam to replace the one you got on stream yesterday. Yes. Yeah, it's a whole saga. So here's what happened. I'll go ahead. I mean, we're here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this. Um, when I switched to the early access branch, and the first time I went to go in my lodges, 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 I noticed that I only had three of them. And they were a Siseka number, I think it was one, three, and six or something like that. Which is weird because before I switched to the early access branch, I had Siseka, one, two, three, four, five. I had five lodges and that's what they were, one, two, three, four, five. When I switched over, I had three lodges, and I think it was one, two, and six, or one, three, and six, or something weird like that. And I was like, what the hell? So I went into lodge number six, and there was a plains bison that didn't belong there because I remember it being in either one or two before. Like, it was just weird. There were trophies in them. That, and, and so lodge number three, four, and five were gone. 
Number three is my playing tag lodge. Number uh, I think number four was my great one grind whitetail lodge and number five was my red stag great one grind lodge. So they were all gone. But I didn't think much of it. I just figured, well, you know what? Once I switch back over, they'll all be there. But then I remembered that they were saying that files were corrupting when the content creators were switching back. Their regular play file was corrupting, which wasn't a big deal for anybody who had saved their play file. So I didn't want to lose all of that. Plus, my money was depleted. I didn't have... I didn't have... Look at that. That's the one I killed from the other side. I never would have spotted that until I got, like, here. I didn't want to lose my great one, Whitetail. I didn't want to lose all my diamonds and rares from my grinds. I, I didn't want any of that to happen. Not to mention all of the uh, pistol points that I had accumulated so that I could uh, grab myself one of... Uh, these bad boys right i finally earned and purchased the rhino well when i was on the early access branch none of that was there i didn't have the points to get a rhino i didn't have a rhino like it's like it it uh, rolled me back or something so anyway here's what i did i opened my I opened up my uh, current game file. I took the backup that I'd made just before going to the early access branch, and I copied and pasted all those files in and overwrote, overwrote them, which means it wasn't going to overwrite anything on this reserve, but would, it would overwrite the regular files. Uh, before I did that, I took, I dismounted the the piebald trophy, uh, the piebald gator trophy, and put it in my inventory on the off chance that it would still be there and I'd get to keep it. I wasn't expecting it, but I thought, what the hell, I'll give it a shot. So I did that, went back in the game, and lo and behold, my money's back, my lodges are back to normal, everything's fine, but that piebald gator that I shot was gone, as was the diamond uh, raccoon. But I thought to myself. Either I give up the Diamond Raccoon and the Piebald Gator, or I give up all of that progress and all, and my Great One and all of my diamonds on my grinds. The decision was easy, and so last night I went out hunting hoping to find another really good uh, Piebald Gator, or not a really good Piebald Gator, a really good rare of any kind or a diamond or something, and I found another Piebald Gator. I recorded it. I'll probably make a video of it, but uh, that was lucky and happy, so I'm fine. I stole them and brought them to my lodge. That I'm looking forward to. I was gonna go visit some people's lodges today, some of my friends. I didn't because I'm on the uh, early access branch and I didn't think that would work. But after Tuesday, I'm gonna go start visiting your lodges more often. I kills ducks. How you doing? Good to see you, man. Thanks for being here. So now it will probably revert back when update comes out main branch. No, it shouldn't. What should happen? Because we didn't actually have to actually I know I said I switched over to a new branch. That's That was just to not complicate things for that discussion. But the fact is there was no switching over to a branch. There was just activating this. That's all there was. I didn't actually have to switch branches. It, it, it all went into uh, the, the regular main uh, branch. That's why we suspect when people are switching back to main, their files are corrupting because it's going, wait a minute, you've got stuff in here that doesn't belong in here right now. In any case, after Tuesday when it goes live, my suspicion is everything's going to be fine. I'm going to have everything that I've earned along with all my old files being left intact. That is what we expect. The Rhino, the way to go for, uh, for the Gators, I have it on me and I plan on trying it out. Uh, although my fr I use it for like follow-up shots, my first shot is always with the muzzle loader because that seems to be like the magic wand when it comes to these gators. If you can get them at the nape of the neck and sever their spinal cord or hit them in the brain, uh, it's an instant kill. So the muzzle loader is my weapon of choice at the moment. 
and I got the rhino for follow-up shots if need be if I if I don't actually get the kill although if I get close to one like really danger close I am gonna try the rhino for a first shot and see how it does because I'm hoping that it works just as effectively as the muzzle loader. This is my uh, this is like my my loadout now. This is my go-to loadout for Mississippi at the moment. I'm super excited for Tuesday. Like I have just, it, it, I'm not finding any game-breaking bugs. I'm not gonna be willing to be quoted too closely but this could be the most successful deployment of a DLC they've ever done which you know the timing couldn't be better apparently they gained 10 million new players uh, when they were giving it away on epic and to have the first DLC go this smoothly would be a good idea with that many new faces. You're passing on it, Tail? Hmm. For eight bucks, I don't know why you would. These gators are fun, man. I wasn't terribly excited about the array of animals, and I didn't think I'd care too much about gators, but... Uh, I really like it. It's a lot of fun. This is shit. I can't... I was just gonna say, I can't see anything. And I still can't. I just know it's over there. Why didn't you warn me? Ah, oh, I've got a call I have to take. I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm back. Sorry. My wife had a very, very important question regarding bourbon. That's not something that anyone should ignore. Especially since it might mean she's buying me bourbon right now. The guy can hope, can he? What do you mean mute myself? I did mute myself. Did I not? That's all it has. It's got black bears tail. And raccoons. You don't want to hunt raccoons? And white tail? Another place to maybe find a great one? Well, hopefully the 10 million new players will increase cash flow for development. Yeah, I did say hello, but then I muted myself. I had a lot of buttons to push all at once. What do you want from me? Even if 5% buy DLC out of the 10 million... Buy... Even if 5% buy, buy the DLC out of the 10 million, that would still dang near double their active player base. Yeah. If just a percentage of those new players buy any DLCs, that's a lot of money. Yep, yep, yep. Everybody's right about that. I mean, 10 million captive audience members. No matter what you're peddling... 10 million new captive audience members is a lot of people. Now, let's just say, let's just say, let's just say half of that 10 million. Let's say 5 million of those people are hyperactive teenagers who play COD and Halo constantly and whose parents feed them way too much fucking sugar. And they can't stand this because it takes too much patience. Discount them entirely. We're down to 5 million. 
let's say of that 5 million, half of them don't realize that their computer is a fucking potato and won't run it. We're down to 2.5 million. Fine. Of that 2.5 million, let's say a full million of them uh, play it once to try it out. It's not their thing. And though they appreciated it, it's not something they're going to keep playing. You're still down to 1.5 million new people who are interested. That's massive. That is massive. No raccoons. The other two are on the map I'm on now. Okay. Most of the X players that I've talked to at least have told me they have bought at least two DLCs so far. Oh, shit. And we didn't even talk about that, I kills Ducks. If of those 10 million, just a small percentage have already bought a DLC or two so they can get more into the game, then yeah, they've already made a bundle. Yeah, it was... Ooh, how you doing? You're coming home with me, I hope. Duke, don't you even think about it. Get the... Get out of the way. What just happened? I just clicked and nothing happened. What the? What the? Did I get my powder wet? That, that mechanic's not in the game. What the hell just happened? I clicked. I swear to all of you, I clicked. That was about to be a neck shot that may have netted me a level 7 gator. And now we'll never know. Two of my kids are looking at buying this game. There you go. Let me spot you. I can see you. Why can't I? Ugh. Where'd that gator go? He's probably up in this curly grass. I'll never see him now. Damn it! Dude, go bite his face off. Let me spot you! God damn it. Okay. I was hoping for more out of that. Alright, the dog's lying down. I've moved quite far enough away from him. This one's facing away. It's only a level 3. Where's that level 7? That's what I really want. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. If it's not a diamond, they're all the same size anyway, which is a source of disappointment. I'm, I'll be honest. I would have liked to have seen bigger gators actually appear bigger. I'm assuming they did that because, I mean, I'm sure it's not that hard to make things appear larger or smaller. Where are you going? I'm going to assume that they did that on purpose. And there is a good reason why. I know everybody's all miffed about the fact that there's no true size on the gators, that bigger ones don't appear bigger. But I'm going to guess it was to not make a diamond gator easier to kill by giving a bigger target area. Because let's be honest, if it's a bigger animal, uh, it's just not going to be as hard to kill, is it? When you have that little tiny area that's a kill shot, the brain case and the... the uh, the neck bone. So I'm going to, they'd have, they didn't say this, but I'm assuming they went without true size to make it so that the more prized animals aren't easier to get than the crappy ones. And if that's the case, I kind of think that's a good idea. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that's kind of a good idea. That's another one. Can't wait to see how the dog's anti-predator trait works with a mad gator. But they don't get aggressive. I've tried everything to make them aggressive. They don't get aggressive. So. Which is also disappointing. That I don't agree with. Bigger target also means more mass to get the round through. Yeah. 
yeah, but is it that much more with the right weapon? I mean, I think this muzzle loader would, you know, even if it's got a couple more inches on either side, two more inches of flesh is fine. I usually can go right through the head to the neck if I'm if it's quartering toward me. I've had shots go all the way through that, so I don't know that it would really be that big a factor. All right, I should probably pay attention to where I spotted that guy. Somewhere's over there. Once they get in that curly grass, man. I'm just going to shoot whichever one I get a good shot on first. Okay, you. Level four. You win. Uh, no, nope. water refraction just stymied me right there. That's unfortunate. There's, there's a pose they take in the water where you can actually hit them. When it's like that, you probably can't. Sunless hand salt, hand salt, what? Sunless consult. Sunless consult. Sunless consult. I'm trying to figure out if that's a name that's trying to say two things. Welcome. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the royal family. Thanks for being here. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to bow hunt a gator. I bet I get close enough to find out for sure if they go aggressive. I was 12 meters away from one and it didn't go aggressive on me. Oh, you guys are killing me. I don't know how to... Yeah, fam, ma'am? Yeah, fam, ma'am. Yeah, fam, ma'am. Yeah, fam, ma'am. Welcome. Got him. And here he comes. See, now, see, that one worked in the water. I'm, I'm starting to think sometimes there are just obstructions that you're that you hit instead of the gator. I don't know. Maybe with the last one, I hit something that I hadn't rendered or what, whatnot, I, something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but I'll take that. How do you play early access? Uh, when you're an official content creator for EW, you get early access. Okay, 12 meters is pretty close. Did you get a vital shot or just nick it? No, I slaughtered it. Shot it right through its head. Actually, it happened to be facing me. Uh, I'm going to bookmark it, or bookmark it. The VOD's going to come up on uh, YouTube, and I'm going to mark the moment where it happens, but... Uh, I shot it. I, I was going looking for it, and I thought it had already crawled back into the water and swam away. Because I thought I... Basically, I was showing everybody how uh, their eyes glint in the dark. Ooh. Aren't you pretty? I'm using the uh, Hudzik 50. I'm using the the muzzle loader. And as so we're in the dark, I spotted a little glinty bright spot going left to right through the water. And I was pointing out to everyone, uh, I, I kept it up and left of my crosshair. So like right where that tree is kind of thing so that I wasn't spotting it. So you couldn't see the outline just so you could just see the eye and going, look at that. See what I'm saying? At night, you can see the eyes. And then it climbed out of the water and started to make its way up on land. And I'm like, is that a piebald? And it was probably a hundred or so meters away. And it looked weird. And then it climbed up on the shore and went into some bushes. And I'm like, well, we got to go find out. So I made my way over there really slowly, and I thought I heard it uh, just skedaddle back into the water. So I thought, well, we'll go find some disturbed vegetation. I'll check that, and I'll know if it was a piebald or not, and whether it... Because I was trying to end the stream. That was I was supposed to be just showing that you could see their eyes in the dark, and I was going to end the stream. But I had to know. So as I'm going up there much like this it's all this curly grass and it's up and down like this 
so just like this right in front of me so right where that disturbed vegetation was it was kind of like right ish there we got another gator and so i'm skulking really slowly like this and just as i start to come to the top of the of this rise i've got my light on and all of a sudden i see its face and it's big so i you know because i had my binocs up like this and boom, it was right there staring at us and it started growling and it was very obviously piebald. And the reading was 12 point something meters. So I just pulled out the, the Hudzik and blasted it in the head and it died right in front of me. It was pretty awesome, pretty epic. Twixer, how you doing? And I can't even spot this. I gotta report this. This is getting annoying. That's the only bug I've found so far is sometimes, not always, but sometimes disturbed vegetation can't be spotted. Twixer, welcome to the royal family. Thanks for being here today. If you kill a level five or above alligator in seven minutes, I'll donate 500 bits. Well, you might as well fill out all of the, uh, all of the necessary paperwork for that because this is happening. Because <laughs> there was one just ahead here. And there's one right there in the water. And now it's gone. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Although, we, so yeah, we have no way of knowing what level that was. But they're here. They're around. Just about everywhere there's water so far on this map, I've found some. Oh, this one's up on land. And he's in the deep, deep mess. He's close. I really wish it wasn't raining. That's not making this easier. I'm not even going to get eyes. He's just flexing now. I know, Duke. I know. I heard it. I heard it. Duke's getting all uppity now. He knows what's up. And he's got to be right deep in this shit. See, like betwixt the bushes. I'll never get a shot if that's the case. I wouldn't be able to spot him, let alone shoot him. I'm gonna take a chance and round, go around the right side. He might scurry into the water and I'll miss him, but I need to thin out some of this cover, some of this nasty parallax in front of me if I'm gonna get an eye. But whom death and him there. Can you imagine setting a tree stand up over the water, looking over the shore? Ooh, it's going to be fun. Lagnarok seems to be, that seems to be his preferred method of hunting these things. He's got tripods all over the place. And he just sits up high and shoots down on them. I haven't really done that because I was broke before I restored my files and got my money back. I can hear it moving. There he is. And he's super close. Oh, 
Come on through. Come on through. There you go. There you go. Got him. Sunless con uh, consult. My day. My day has been amazing so far. Both personally and as a broadcaster. Yeah, it's been pretty good. How you doing? How's your day? How's everybody? Can you imagine? Yeah. Whew. Now we don't know what level this thing is because I never did spot it. Let's just go have a look. I don't know. I, I'm sure the tripods are going to be fun or the tree stands are going to be fun, but I really love this spot and stocking because this is not something you'd ever do in real life. No one would do this. This is, this is like suicidal to be creeping around where the gators are just hanging out. That, that's insanity. Nobody would do that. See, that's the shot right there. You can see the little red spot there. Right at the nape of the neck. And it's a level seven. Ooh, he's a good size one too. Right there. Upper neck. That's the magic. I was hoping maybe for some brain too, but I'll take upper neck. Still an instant kill. That's a good size gold. You're pretty. He's a pretty one. Nice. These are so... Yeah, I, just, I really like hunting them this way. I think it's weird, but I enjoy it. And it's just a game, so I'm... You know, what are you going to do? <laughs> Sunless Consult. Thank you for the 500 biddies. I love it when people show up on a Sunday and show me their take biddies. Thank you so much. This guy looks more like Silent Bob than Silent Bob himself. Aw, that's very sweet. Back to Lumbee. Thank you for being here. Welcome to the royal family. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> that's, you guys, you're so f full of flattery. What have I done to deserve all this kindness? Path of death and destruction. We got any more over here? I'm sure we do. We must. We must. Kevin James looking ass. This is my Kevin James looking ass. <laughs> it's going good, man. I hope you're doing good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is a good day to hunt gators. Let's do some, let's see if we spook anything. Nothing's yelling at me. Oh, scratch that. Something's yelling at me. But it's too deep to spot. Is that a, those are both logs. Oh my God. Thought we had another gator in our midst. Come on, pop your head up, you gruesome bastard. Where are you at? There you are. There you are. You're mine. You're mine. No! Now see, I don't know why that didn't connect. That looked on to me. Sometimes the water messes up your uh, your zeroing. I don't know. That might have went just over him. Get this muzzle loader set up again. He told me he will donate another 500 if you kill another in five minutes. Well, start a timer. Here we go. It's a risky proposition though you saw that I just spotted another one fairly soon after that kill so it's not entirely inconceivable that it can happen again what is the zeroing just that I've, I've got my weapon if you look in the bottom right corner of my screen the very bottom right corner you can see that I can set this weapon to shoot for a distance of a hundred meters 150 meters and 200 meters so that guy, when I when I brought up the binoculars, was showing at a distance of about 100 meters. So that's what I zeroed for. 
and it looked like I might have missed them entirely so I think the water sometimes sometimes your your rangefinder uh, registers water I think because the animation of over the water I think messes with things so I seem to remember a Mythbusters episode where a pool defeated a 50 caliber round just yeah absolutely absolutely where have all the gators gone where have all the gators gone do I need to move I might need to move Got a resting zone here. What time is it in game? Oh, it's well after that hour. Let's uh, move up the coast. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's do that. I might not make the five minute mark this time. Especially if I don't spawn in anytime soon. <laughs> there we go. Let's just get to the coast and see what we got. Kentucky Ballistics stopped a 50 cal rounds. So chill. Oh, gravity? Welcome. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it very much. Try. <laughs> Where's the water? Am I not? Let's head a little more west. I'm never going to have a chance at this if I don't find some water. He almost died, but he stopped it. I watched that video. That was hard to watch. <coughs> that was really... Oh. What a fluke, freak accident that was. With that 50 cal. I mean, you say he stopped it, but... That wasn't his intention. He didn't set out to say, on today's episode... I stop a 50 caliber bullet. <laughs> it's not what he wanted to do. Unless we're talking about a different video. He stopped the bolt pretty much, not the bolt. Oh, yeah, that is true, Tail Gunner. It was the bolt that came out and took him out. The actual round went... I don't know, what happened to the round? Didn't it... Didn't it go? But then the rest of the gun kind of exploded back at him? One minute, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna make it. At that point, same difference. Ah, I don't know if it's the same difference. He didn't really stop a 50 caliber round. That is a good point, and it's not really splitting hairs. That's relevant, man. The round didn't actually hit him. Oh, no! No! Ah, you Savannah Beach! Why? Why was I running? Oh, there's another one. All is not lost. Although it might be a level 2 female. Sit still, sit still, settle back in. We're good, we're good. I'm your friend. You wanna be on the show? Stay still. I'll make you famous, it's a male. I'm gonna slow my roll a little bit here. Woo! God, these are fun to shoot. So much fun to shoot! Is this a dark brown? 
He's a gold! He's a seven! Look at him! What a beaut. Oh, I got a little spatula up in this shot. Upper neck skull. Left scapula, jaw, upper neck. Oh, the upper neck is what killed him. There we go. He's a smaller one than the last one, but he's still pretty. I'll still take it. Nice. These are so much fun. This West Coast, when you guys get the map, this West Coast is pretty awesome. It's my favorite place to hunt them. Because they're usually um, 20, 30 meters, anywhere between 10 and 30 meters up from the shore when they're resting. So they're all up in this brush. Oh, Sunless Consult, that's very kind of you. Thank you so much for the biddies. You gotta stop making that bet with me though, because, and certainly don't give me extra minutes. That's not fair to you. Because going up this coast, you should be able to find one every five minutes without too, too much trouble. They're always resting up here along the uh, shoreline. We're not close enough to spot that yet, are we? I don't know. But I just crouch all the way up here and always check to my right because they're up in that mess. It's really hard to spot the ridges on their backs, but once you do... Putting the stock on is not that tough because you're usually close by that point. I think we got one right here. Yep, we got movement. We got one right up over there. Look how far inland he is. Yeah, we got one right up here. And that's why I'm saying you shouldn't make that bet. <laughs> you can find one every five minutes. It's, an, it's almost a guarantee. All right, spread the love. We'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate the biddies. It's very kind of you. Thank you for being here. Welcome to the family. Oh, hello. Traveling. Okay, well, you're going swimming out in the depths, so you're a waste of time. But where's that other one that was creeping around over here? Oh, and that one is what made this resting area his home for a while. I'm wondering if that was him, if he turned around. Nope. That's close. That is really close. That's super close. Got him. Woo! Man, I think I've got the knack of this. I found these things so hard to kill before, but the more I practice, the easier it is to hit that sweet spot. Another gold. What a day. Still didn't break 400, but I'll take it. And these are fun. These are fun to hunt. I'm surprised there's usually one or two, sometimes three that I've seen just hanging out on that opposite shore there. There's none today. That's surprising. There's usually a whole bunch of them in there. We're getting near the spot where I killed the piebald. I think it was right up over here. Bang, bang. How you doing, buddy? <coughs> Hope you're looking forward to Tuesday. Everybody. Back up your files Monday. We got two more sleeps until this drops. Back up your files if you're on PC, just to be safe. There's no expectation that anything's gonna go too wrong, but it's just a smart practice. Wrestling Angle, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for stopping by. 
Definitely back up your game files before before midnight on Monday. Super stoked, yeah. These these gators are a lot of fun, man. Duke, you leveled up. I didn't even do anything. I wasn't nice to you at all. 26 out of 30. All right. Is that just from walking around with me? You're such a good boy. Oh, there we go. Female. Little female over there. Come on. Give me a big honking diamond or a rare or something. Give me something to dance to. I don't think there's anything in this little bay. I can't wait for this to come out for everybody. Uh, just because I want my friends to play it. So I made a TikTok vid from Call of the Wild Gameplay and in like an hour I'm over 600 plus views on it. Really? Holy shit. Well, they did get 10 million new players from the Epic Store. Not for nothing, but that's a lot of people. So, Blunt, Tuesday night, I'd really like to do a group hunt with you and my son and maybe Catherine. Uh, that would be really, really awesome if we could do that. If you're still here, Blunt, I don't know if you are, but if you are, I'd really like to do that. We'll go get some gators together. Oh, what's that? What, what was that? I just got a glimpse of something. Oh, it's a turkey. Let me spot it. Oh, wait, and there's something else back there. Two turkeys. Where the hell? Meh. Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday night, uh, my son and I are doing a hunt uh, with Catherine for her birthday. At least I think we're doing a hunt. She might want to play something else. I'm not sure. It's her birthday. She can call it. But at some point, I'd like to do some hunting with my son and Blunt. Uh, so we're probably gonna do that on Tuesday night stream do some group gator maybe we'll do a gator drive I don't know if that's a thing given that they scurry to the water straight away but so where's the spot it's right around here somewhere where I killed that piebald yeah I don't exactly know where but right around here right near that rock right there I think it was yeah it was laying right here. I shot between the rock and the tree from over there, about a hundred meters out. Got it in the head. It was pretty great. I was pretty stoked. Duke was super excited. Oh, you're way out there. gotta be close we were coming right up on it oh no or yes wait is that bush breathing <laughs> blowing in the wind oh there she is no where'd she go I might be right on top of her and not even know it that's what she said um there's some sign over here. We've got to be close. Duke, relax, dude. Another one way out there. Maybe that's her. Maybe she took off into the water. Oh, absolutely. If Call of the Wild is the game, then I'm definitely down for it. Uh, it'll be Eastern time. Uh, I'm not 100% sure of the time yet, actually. But probably in the neighborhood of 7 or 8. 
Unless Catherine wants to do it much, much earlier in the day, which would be fine for me too. Earlier might be better for some of us. Yeah, she might have... She might have scurried into the water. Man, some of these logs and rocks. <laughs> They'll trick you. They will trick you. See, this is when I haven't seen one in this long. This is when I start getting an itch to stand and walk or run. But every time I do that, one just bolts into the water because I'm closer than I realize. So I'm just going to be patient. Bang, bang, you're in my Discord, right? Because that's... You know, we'll be making the arrangements that way. Finalizing things that way. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Another seven. Man, the sevens are everywhere. Not a bad thing. I'd really like to spot another rare or a diamond. I still have yet to get a diamond. I've had one diamond troll. But, uh... I mean, I can't complain. I've gotten two piebalds. Only one that I was able to keep, but I've gotten two. One in the lodge. One lost to the digital netherworld, but... Either way... I don't want to be greedy. But for as many as I've killed, I'm hoping to find something else that's dazzling. A six? Oh, what's that over there? There's another one walking through the trees over there. did find, I think the diamond troll what's oh, that sunless? It's sunnies, right? That's an I, not an L and nobody corrected me, right? Sun ice can consult? That's tough to say Thanks for the follow, man Welcome to the family Appreciate your support today. Nice of you to stop by. Show me your tig bitties. That was off. That was awfully kind. Oh, there's another seven up on land over there. Another seven up on land over here. Holy crap, Ola! They're everywhere. Over there. Problem is, once you shoot one, the rest take off, right? So you kind of got to be choosy about which one you're gonna set your sights on. We've got some sign right up here, so there's probably one not probably, there may be one resting up over here in all this mess. Now see, wouldn't it be great to have a boat to go out, I don't know, 50 meters and look back at the shore to see them? Be kind of nice. And then to hunt them at night in the water? That would be good, too. Really like to see that. These little bushes sometimes mimic really well the ridges on their back, too, so... 
can be tricky to spot them from this close. But it's a nice distance to shoot them from. Just gonna make my way up to the higher ground. To the higher ground up here. I'm not authorized to answer that. <clears throat> Again? Another voice change? Resting till noon. This is an old spot. But they overlap, so it doesn't mean it's empty. That's a log. Duke's not growling, so I guess I could probably get moving. There's nothing that I'm going to trip over. I mean, we've got investigators up ahead, too, so... You just have to pick one. It's a little easier to spot him in this now. Okay, that one maxes out at what, four eleven. The other ones that were all short, did they all go into the water? No, there's one. Is that one? If I didn't know better, I'd say that's a dead gator over there. Oh no, it's facing me, that's why. 417, that's a little better. Sideshow, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. Thanks for being here. Thanks for stopping by. Ooh, 466. If you weren't in the water, you'd be the candidate. Yeah, a few of them went into the water as we got closer. I don't know if that's a mechanic or if it's just the time of day that they're starting to move around. Mm, I don't think so. Maybe it just happens. Hmm. <clears throat> This is so far, this six is the one that I feel most confident shooting at the moment. These others are either actively swimming or they're deeper. And this one on land has a lot of foliage and whatnot between him and I. So I don't know how well that might go. Just gonna go a little further inland so I can get an angle on him if I happen to be able to spot him through a clearing. Uh, nope, it's not getting any thinner up there. It's actually getting messier. I think I might just take a shot at this six. I'll take a shot at this six, and then I'll switch to the rhino to see if I can get one on the run. Let's try that. Got him. That was a terrible shot. Terrible shot. Let's just get this muzzle loader ready in case there's still something up there on the peninsula. All the other ones went deep. They took off. All right, that's all loaded up. I only saw the one scurry into the water. It doesn't mean there aren't more up there, though. And you're coming home with us. Spinal cord, that's what you want to do. Not at the back, but right there. 
The cervical spinal cord. Yep, there's, a one, there's another one up there. I think it's a female that we spotted earlier. Maybe? Maybe? Or is that a rock? No, that's a... I think that's a gator up through there. Yeah, it is. Definitely. Rocks don't move like that. Rocks don't open their mouths. So that's definitely another gator. <laughs> Excellent. Everything is going just as I have foreseen. That's definitely a rock. That through there. Did I just hear something to my right? Catherine! We were just talking about you in a good way. How you doing? Good to see you. And specifically, we were just talking about Tuesday night's stream. I was thinking, I mean, we'll play whatever you want. You're calling it. Tuesday stream is yours. Uh, but I was thinking uh, it might be nice at some point anyway, if we don't have to just do this, but a group hunt with my son and Blunt and you uh, going after some gators. Let me know what you think. I could use some more coffee. What a great sound. I'm good, just woke up from a nap and that sounds awesome. What time are you thinking? Uh, I'm free and clear that day. So pretty much whatever time you like, whatever's good for you. We can even do it early, we can do it daytime, whatever is comfortable for your schedule. I'm pretty wide open on Tuesday, so far as I know. So whatever works for you works for me. Given the time zone difference, I'm, I'm good, I'm flexible. Hell, I was considering, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm off work, but I was considering taking Tuesday off life just so I can play the hell out of this map and other stuff. So whatever you like. I hear you. Oh, you're that seven. Oh. But I really want to know what this one is before I start shooting. But I can't spot it. I can't see it, Duke. What are we going to do? Come on, game. Let me spot it. Let me spot that. Please let me spot this bloody gator. Because if it's better than the one in the water, I want it. Like, you don't want to spook a diamond, potentially, right? I know, Duke. I know. I want to make... I want to commit as much as you want me to. But I have to know... There it is. Oh! <gasps> Okay, I want that one. I think it's a little bigger than the other one. It tops out at 466. The other one, I don't think... Oh, that's not it. Where is it? 417. Okay, we're going for this one. I need to get it to turn around, though. if I just get super close. This... Oh. There it is. This might be a situation where I get to try out the rhino and see if the rhino will take it out.
Uh oh. Got away, I think. Damn it! Okay, so the rhino is not such a go-to. Or my shot was terrible. It's hard to say. How's the luck going? I haven't gotten another rare, but we've gotten a lot of uh we've gotten a lot of um gators today. So it's not been bad. Oh, I killed it. It's dead. But it didn't pop up to float over to me. Oh, that's heartbreaking. I've got hunting pressure, so I did get it. But it didn't pop up. They usually do. I just don't know the hard and fast rules about when they do or don't. There don't seem to be any hard, fast rules. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I don't know how the game decides whether you get to keep it or not. Unless it's like stuck on a tree down there. Well, that's more than a little unfortunate. That was a vital, that was probably a, a lung, a double lung right there. That's what I was aiming at. This shot was terrible. I obviously missed. Oh, well, the, uh... oh man, I wanted to harvest that. Well, we hit it anyway. Killed it, I should say. That's a log. We got some sign up here for a rest zone. So let's see if there's one up in the up in the grass up here. close to I don't want you to get eaten it's an old rest zone though and this should be long gone from here by now but it doesn't mean it was the only one around here so what's that is that My eyes playing tricks on me? Or is there something up in here? My eyes are definitely playing tricks on me. Thought I saw one. These little round leaves right here, sometimes, depending on how they're positioned, look to me like the ridges on their back. How long have I got you for? I was bummed I missed you start. Ah, uh, not much longer, I'm afraid. I do have to get ready and go to work pretty shortly. But I was going to be playing anyway, so I thought I'd fire it up and go live. Have you 
Jesus Christ. That works almost every bloody time. What in the hell? There's all kinds of sign around here. What time was this big bastard resting? Skid up, but up, but home. It's a mating call. Nine to twelve thirty. I'm late to the party up in this region. But I figured there'd still be some up here. I mean, there always are. We just heard one. I just hope there'd be one on or near the shore. Like, this is another really good air. There we go. There's a five. And there is a, I don't know, six. 449, that's a nice trophy score. For level six. Got anything closer? All right, maybe we go for this six then. Unless that five is a rare, no. Rares are my priority, to be honest. Diamonds are nice, I'll take diamonds, don't get me wrong. But my priority between a diamond and a rare is definitely always gonna be a rare for almost any animal, pretty much. Oh, he's moving. Slow down, buddy. You're gonna get in the way of what I'm trying to accomplish here with this six. Mind you, I'm gonna to need to spot that six again. I don't know where the hell he went. I thought he was further to the right over here. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. I just don't know if that's a clean shot right there. I, I see he's behind a rock. I think that's the only thing in the way. Yeah, I hope so. I'm gonna try this at 100 meters. See what happens. See what we get. Got him. Did that level five not move? Yeah, he's going in. He's going in. Oh, I hit something. That wasn't him. Oh, he's dying slowly. We'll see if he pops up. Might have got a twofer. I mean, he may pop up even though the seven didn't. It's happened before. I have had that happen. He's dead. We got him. I don't see him, though. There he is popped up there he is he was mid swim all right we'll quickly go pick up this one and then we'll come back over here give that thing time to drift in sweet who wouldn't take diamonds true story Alex has learned no oh no that becomes one of their favorite words really quickly because they see it get a rise out of you Look at this beaut. A dark brown gold. Didn't make 400 score, but it just made gold. Just. Well, I'll take it. Yeah, of course, nobody's like, I hate diamonds. It's kind of a dumb thing to say, I suppose, but... But yeah, rares. I would rather have just lodges full of rares. Nothing but rares. Everything is now no. Yeah, oh yeah. That, yeah. Yep. Once they learn the power of that word. Wait till he learns the power of a lie. And how it can absolve him from trouble. Then you gotta teach him that even though you... <coughs> Excuse me. 
even though it can be a useful tactic, it's not an honorable one. Because the notion of honor doesn't figure into their thinking right away. They're just like, let me get this straight. All I have to say is I didn't do it, and you're just going to believe me? <laughs> you know what, Duke? You've been such a good boy today. You've been such a good boy. Uh, Duke? Duke. Fine, you don't want to treat. Have it your way. Okay, okay. We're almost at the fence line. Anything moving? Anything breathing? Got some sign up here. to 12.30. But that's been all the way along and we keep finding them, so... I won't let myself be discouraged. Looks like he was traipsing around here like crazy. I just don't know if he's up here or back in the water now. And this curly grass, I don't know if I'm going to get to even see anything. Fish bank. Duke hasn't been growling, so there might be nothing up here. Or we're not quite close enough yet. Oh, wait a minute. Thought I saw something over there. Thought I saw something pop out of the water and go back down. My eyes are playing tricks on me now. Now I'm imagining gators where there aren't any. That'll happen after a while. Let's check out the, uh, the age of this poop. Very old. So this may be a bit of a dead zone. Old. It's getting fresher as we move. Maybe. I don't know. 
then the footprints go the other way. What? There's another rest zone over here. Would that be Gator? That's pretty far back. They're hanging out this far back from the water? Yeah, they are. I hear him. Oh, they're making a run for it. Shit. Usually they give you a warning call before they spook away. I was crouch sprinting. I was moving too quickly. Man, this takes patience. I didn't actually hear them hit the water, though. I think I'm going to try this. Oh, he's not got a lot of them showing, though. Coming back? Maybe he's coming back. If he comes onto land, I'm definitely shooting, but if he doesn't, I may chance a shot in the water. There he is. Okay. Lay down, Duke. There might still be back one back here in the grass. I'm not entirely sure. into full swim. Can't shoot him like that. I think he's coming back. He's coming back. Easy Duke. Easy Duke. Got him. There's no second one making a run? Nope. Okay, then. Hi, hey, broke 400. Good, 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 good. Look at that penetration on the Hudzik. It's so good. It's my go-to weapon for this. Man, that works a treat on some gators. Let me tell you. What a path of death and destruction. Amazing, amazing. I'll take that. You guys have a great day. Gotta run, do some family stuff. Best of luck, y'all. Thanks, I kills ducks. Thanks for being here. Let's get you. Go check out my buddy, I kills ducks, folks. He's called the wild streamer. Good guy. And uh, is generally more entertaining than I am. So if you've had a good time here today, you definitely should go check out his. Is this. I got gators in the compound? And it ran off after that shot by the looks of it. Oh my goodness. What do you know about that? What do you know about that? That's crazy. Well. You can't get them all. Not all of them. Uh, what have we got? 
going on right now in the community. Oh, look at that. Tipsy's playing. Oh, but my friend Bree is playing. Bree is live right now. We've got to go say hi to Bree. We definitely have to go say hi to Bree. She's streaming right now. And she's streaming Call of the Wild. So thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for the support today. Welcome to all the new uh, royal family members. And um, till I see you again, man, have some laughs. Have some laughs. And I'll be back here uh, Monday night. At least. Yeah, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, Tuesday night. And um, links are all down below for Discord and YouTube and all those other good things. Thanks for being here, folks. And let's go say hi to Bree. Take care of yourselves. Yeah, message me on Discord about Tuesday. Don't forget.